I'm currently watching all of Katherine Hepburn's films and I was quite nervous to watch The Philadelphia Story because I feel like a lot of people hold this in high regard. It's a very successful film. It won two Oscars, including Best Writing and uh, Best Actor for James Stewart. And it's also got 7.9 out of 10 on IMDb across 71,000 reviews and ratings. So needless to say, it's a very popular film. Having now seen it, I can I can understand why. It's not my favourite Catherine Hepburn firm, film. It's it's not my favourite Cary Grant film. But I did enjoy it. This was released in 1940, directed by George Cooker, and stars the aforementioned Catherine Hepburn, Cary Grant and James Stewart. I also want to, to mention Virginia Widler, who plays Dinah. She is fantastic. She's, I'm not entirely sure how old she is, maybe a preteen, early teenager, and her performance was just Oscar worthy, to be quite frank. Um, really thoroughly enjoyed her performance. And there's a lot of, um, well, I was going to say a lot of co comic relief, but it is actually a comedy. It is a rom-com and it is relatively funny, very well written and a pretty interesting narrative. It focuses on Tracy, played by Catherine Hepburn, who's getting married for the second time. But the day before the wedding, her ex-husband turns up and two other people who definitely throw a spanner in the works and Tracy begins to experience new feelings for different people and it's not quite clear what direction the wedding's going to take. I don't want to give away too much more than that. I'm not entirely sure how much of the narrative of the Philadelphia story has come in knowledge given how you know how well known the film is but I personally knew nothing about it going into it so I think I'll leave the narrative there if you want to discuss it in more detail with me please feel free to drop me a message because I do have some more spoilery thoughts. I might reveal them at the end, maybe not. But what I will say is the performances across the board were brilliant and definitely helped to carry the narrative when it was slowing down. The film is quite long for the time. It's nearly two hours and I feel like you could have removed about 20 minutes of this without losing anything. Not a specific chunk of 20 minutes, that's just a number I'm plucking out of nowhere where I feel like things just didn't move forward quickly here and there. Not to the extent that it hindered my enjoyment, but certainly there's room for improvement. It definitely could have been tightened and neatened a little bit, but because the performances were really engaging, even if the narrative wasn't moving too much, it wasn't too bad. It's well shot, very well acted, of course, and I'd say unpredictable. I hadn't worked out how it would end or what I kind of thought would be the final third of the film, so it definitely kept me guessing. As I said, it's, it's a little funny. It's not laugh out loud funny, but it is uh, a decent, decent, some decent dialogue there. And Catherine Hepburn was fantastic. Of course she was. Um, as I said, not my favourite Catherine Hepburn film, nor my favourite Cary Grant. I'm not entirely sure how many other James Stewart films I've seen. Not many, I don't think. Um, I would have to double check, but it was good. I liked it. I can understand why some people really hold this film in high regard. Personally, I thought it was better than okay, but still room for improvement. But either way, it's one that I do recommend.